Hello my dear friends. Today we are going to do day 13's MCQ. Before that, I would like to welcome you all to our channel that is Best Notes Tutorials. And uh, I hope you all are benefiting a lot. Do let me know in the comment section whether you are getting help from it or it is becoming difficult. Please drop your message. In our last video, we have completed till question number 6 of day 13 MCQ. So today we are going to continue with number 7. Let's begin. Question number 7. Feminist criticism is not. Your options are. Option A. The term feminism was coined by Charles Fourier in 1837. Option B. It can be done by either male or female author. Option C. Feminist critic believed that all of literature is centered on men and their superiority. Option D. There are five waves of feminism. So your answer is option D. That is, there are five waves of feminism. Let's see the highlighters. It started with the women's liberation movement in the year 1960s. In 1960s, sorry. It concerned with the ways in which literature furthers the psychological, social, political and economic oppression of women. The term feminism was coined by Charles Fourier in 1837. Feminist Critic believed that all of literature is centered on men and their superiority. It can be done by either male or female author. The four waves of criticism. The first wave of criticism, which was between 17, sorry, 17s to early 90s, it grew out of the mid-19th century. In this wave, female writers imitated the established male form of writing. This waves, writers highlighted the inequalities between the sexes. Mary Wollstonecraft, a vindication of the rights of women in 1792. Second wave feminism was between 1960s to 1980s. In this wave, women strived to reach a further sense of equality with men and fought for a greater control over their body and protection from single abuse and rebelled against the male writers. Writers established the groundwork for the dissemination of feminist theories are Simon de Beauvoir, The Second Sex in 1972 and Aileen Show Alter. Third wave of feminism was between 1990s to 1907. Sorry, 2007. In this phase, women writers undergone a self discovery and tried for a literature of their own and stopped imitating. It resisted the perceived essentialist ideologies and a white heterosexual middle-class focus of second-wave feminism. It borrowed from post-structural and contemporary gender and race theories to expand on marginalized populations' experiences. Fourth wave of feminism was between 2008 till date. Jennifer Baumgartner identifies fourth wave feminism as starting in 2008 <coughs> excuse me and continuing into present day it is often associated with uh, online feminism using facebook twitter and other social media kira corcrane cochrane sorry 
author of All the Rebel Women, The Rise of Fourth Wall of Feminism defines fourth wave feminism as a movement that is connected through technology. Dinah Diamond defies, defines fourth wave feminism as a movement that combines politics, psychology and spirituality. Question number 8. Which among the following statement is not correct about materialist feminism? Your option A is they want to talk about how women's operation is shaped by ordinary culture. That is option A. Option B says materialist feminists don't buy the idea of essential womanness. Option C. The materialist feminists want to track now the myth of women gets played out in real life. Option D, that is last option, says they want to talk about how women's oppression is shaped by capitalism. So here option A is correct and it was they want to talk about how women's oppression is shaped by ordinary culture. So let's see the highlighters. Materialist feminism don't buy the idea of essential womanness, but they want to talk about uh, how women's oppression is shaped by capitalism. In the essay, one is not born a woman in 1981. The French feminist thinkers Monique Wittig tells about it. The materialist uh, feminists want to track how the myth of women get played out in real life. Question number 9. Which of the following work of Wolf is called a female Ulysses? Option A. A room of one's own. Option B. Mrs. Dalloway. Option C. Between the Acts. And Option D. Orlando. Your option, correct option rather, goes with option B, that is Mrs. Dalloway. Let's see the highlighters. Mrs. Dalloway was published in 1925. It is a novel also called Female Ulysses by Wolfe. It gives details of a day in the life of Clarissa Dalloway, a fictional high society woman in the post First World War England. This novel is created from her own two short stories, namely Mrs. Dalloway in Bond Street and next work that is The Prime Minister Unfinished. This work was unfinished, okay, The Prime Minister. The novel addresses Clarissa's preparations for a party which she will host that evening. It covers one day from morning to night in Mrs. Dalloway's life in June 1923. Question number 10. Which among the following statement is not correct about Elaine Showalter? Option A. In Towards femini a feminist politi poetics, she traces the history of women's literature. Option B, she is a specialist in modern literature. Option C, C she is one of the founders of feminist literary criticism in United States Academia, developing concept practices of gynocritic. Option C. She coined the term gynocritics. Here your option is option B. That is she is a specialist in modern literature. Elaine Showalter was born in 1941. She is an American literary critic, feminist and writer on cultural and social issues she is 
specialist in Victorian literature and one of the founders of feminist literary criticism in United States Academia, developing concepts and practices of gynocritic. Schoolter's most innovative work in this field is in Madness and Hysteria in Literature, specifically in women's writing and in the portrayal of female characters. Question number 11. Which among the following is not correct about the type of reader response criticism? Friends, please be focused here because whenever literary theory and literary um, complicated questions comes around, you get confused and I get um, messages in the comment section that it was a bit difficult. So please try to be attentive here. Your options are option A, transactional reader response theory, psychological reader response theory, and social reader response theory and last one is effective stylistics so here your option goes with option b psychological reader response theory psychological reader response theory is not correct about the type of reader response criticism so let's see the highlighters types of reader response criticism Transactional reader response theory. It is led by Louis Rosenblatt and supported by Wolfgang Iser. Effective stylistics. It is established by Stanley Fish. Fish believed that a text can only come into existence as it is read. Therefore, a text cannot have meaning independent of the reader. Social reader response theory. Social re reader response theory. It is Stanley Fish, Fish's extension of his earlier work, Surprised by Sin. The reader in Paradise Lost is Stanley Fish's argument of Milton studies. Fish believed that a text can only come into existence as it is read. Therefore, a text cannot have meaning independent of the reader. Social reader response theory. It is Stanley Fish extension of his work, earlier work. Surprised by sin, the reader in Paradise Lost in Stanley Fish argument of Milton studies. Is there a text in the class? The authority of interpretive communities is another work. Subjective reader response theory. It is associated with David Blage. Blage looks entirely to the reader's response for literary meaning as individual written responses to a text are then compared to other individual interpretations to find continuity of meaning it was employed by norman holland question number 12 which among the following is correct about reader response criticism your option a is it begin it began in 1960s and 1970s particularly in uk and france Option B, it is contrast to other schools and theories and focuses attention primarily on the author or the content and form of the work. Option C, it stands in total opposition to the theory of formalism and supports new criticism. Option D, reader response theory recognizes the reader as an active agent who imparts extensive reading and imaginary, imagery experience to the work. Here your option B is correct one that it, it that is it is contrast to other schools and theories that focuses attention primarily on the author or the content and form of the work.
Highlighter says, Reader response criticism began in 1960s and 70s, particularly in US and Germany. It is a school of literary theory that focuses on the reader or audience and their experience of a literary work. It is in contrast to other schools and theories that focuses attention primarily on the author or the content and form of the work as romantics focuses on author whereas new criticism on the text it emerges in tandem with the virtual world of interest in 1929 i a richards analyzed a group of cambridge undergraduates in his literature or exploration that was published in 1938 argued that it is important for the for the teachers to avoid imposing imposing any preconceived notions about the proper way to react to any work the important reader response critics are norman holland stanley fish wolfgang iso Hans Robert Joss, Ronald Barth, and I. A. Richards. The role of the reader in this criticism. Reader response theory recognizes the reader as an active agent who imparts real existence to the work. Reader completes the meaning through interpretation. It stands in total opposition to the theories of formalism and new criticism in which readers' role of recreation, literary, theory, literary work, is ignored. Question number 13. Terry Eagleton excoriates dash discreditable epistemology as sinister who is that author option a fish option b barth option c hall option d raymond williams your option correct option goes with option a that is fish stanley eugene fish let's let's analyze the answer stanley fish who was born on 1938 is an american literary theorist author legal scholar and public intellectual fish is also viewed as being a major influence in the rise and development of reader response theory he is also a major figure associated with postmodernism instead he views himself as an advocate of anti-foundationalism. He started his career as medievalist. Terry Eagleton excoriates fish discreditable epistemology as sinister. Camille Paglia, author of Sexual Persona, and personal intellectual denounced fish as totalitarian tinker bell his most notable quote is is there a text in the class let's move to question number 14 which among the following work is not written by stanley fish option a in there a text in this class save the world on your own time how milton works and option d faculty towers the academic novel and its discontents your option correct option is faculty towers the academic novel and its discontents fish's important works are self-composing sorry consuming artifacts experience of 17th century in there a text 
in there a text in this class which was published in 1870 there is no such thing as free speech is published in 1994 how milton works was the product of 2001 save the world on your own time was released on 2008 Question number fifteen: Which among the following statement is not correct about the new historicism? Option A: It is a mark of rejection of universalism. Option B: It is considered as an extension to structuralism. Option C: This theory has much impetus to the work of Michael Fackold. Option D: Historicism primarily. Appeared in Germany, so here option B is the correct one. That is, it is considered as an extension of structuralism. New historicism. New historicism is a theory, literary theory, developed by the critic and Harvard English professor Stephen Greenblatt in. Nineteen eighty, in his introduction to the power of forms in the English Renaissance, it is a mark of rejection of universalism and considered as an extension to post-structuralism. It is based on the premise that a literary work should be considered a product of time, place, and historical circumstances of its composition, rather than. as an isolated creation of genius historicism primarily appeared in germany the main aim is to understand the work through its historical context and to understand cultural as well as to investigate the intellectual history and cultural history through literature this theory has much impetus to the work of michael fogelt new historicism has been criticized for reducing the importance of literature as a work of art and turning it into just another historical artifact it blurs distinctions among literary non literary and cultural texts showing how all three intercirculate share in and mutually constitute each other new historicism appeared in greenblatt's 1980s treatise the power of forms and the forms of power in the renaissance the grand breaking text of new historicism canon was greenblatt's renaissance self fashioning from more to shakespeare question number 16 which among the following is not written by greenblatt option a how milton works three modern satirists war onwell and huxley practicing new historicism hamlet in purgatory your option is correct option is how milton works which is option a major works of greenblatt three modern satirists war on well and huxley was published in the year 1965 so walter relic the renaissance man and his roles was published in 1973 shakespearean negotiations the circulation of social energy in renaissance england was published in 1988 its opening line is i began with the desire to speak with the dead marvelous possessions the wonder of the new world was published in 1992 practicing new historicism was seen in 2001 with catherine gallagher hamlet in purgatory was published in 2002 renaissance self fashioning from more to shakespeare was 2005 in the year 2005 it was published 
will in the world who sorry how shakespeare became shakespeare was 2015 to sorry 2005's work shakespeare's freedom was published in 2010 the swerve well, how the world became modern was published in 2011 let's see question number 17 which among the following is not correct about stephen greenblatt option a he won pulitzer prize in 2012 for general nonfiction. option b in his essay romance and wonder greenblatt introduced the terms reson resonance and wonder option c in 1980 in his introduction to the power of forms in the english renaissance greenblatt first used new historicism option d in his essay romance and wonder greenblatt introduced the terms social energy so this is appropriate answer that in his essay romance and wonder greenblatt introduced the term terms social energy stephen greenblatt was uh, born in the year 1943 Stephen J. Greenblatt is an American literary critic, theorist, social, sorry, scholar, and Pulitzer Prize winning author who was born in Boston and was raised in Cambridge. He is regarded as the founder of New Historicism in 1980s. He won Pulitzer Prize in 2012 for general nonfiction. He is the editor of the Norton Shakespeare that was published in 2015 and a contributor to the Norton Anthrology of English Literature. He is the co-founder of the literary cultural journal Representations. His most popular work is Will in the World, a biography of Shakespeare. New historicism challenged formalism, structuralism and deconstruction theories. Let's move to question number 18. In 1980, in his work, Greenblatt first used new historicism. The work is Option A, Practicing New Historicism. Option B, The Swerve, How the World Became Modern. Option C, Marvelous Positions, The Wonders of the New World. Option D, Introduction to the Power of Forms in the English Renaissance. So here last option that is introduction to the power of forms is in the English Renaissance is the correct option. In 1980 in his introduction to the power of forms in the English Renaissance Greenblatt first used new historicism. Question number 19 which among the following is not a post colonial work? Option A Heart of Darkness option b wretched of the earth option c discourse on colonialism option d zero degree here option d that is zero degree is the correct option important work of post colonialism heart of darkness by joseph conrad i wandered lonely as a cloud by william wordsworth girl by jamaica kincaid Oh, the places you will go by Dr. Sears. The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. The Empire Writes Back. Theory and Practice in Postcolonial Literature by Bill Ascoft, Gareth Griffins, and Helen Tiffin. Discourse on Colonialism was published in 1950 by Aim Kisser. Option, sorry, next highlighter. Next highlight is Black Skin, White Mask was published in 1952 by Franz Fanon. The Wretched of the Earth was published in 1961 by Franz Fanon. 
Fanon, sorry. Let's move to question number 20. Which among the following is not does not belong to Edward Said? Option A, Occidentalism, Orientalism, Freestyle and Late Style. So here option C that is Freestyle is the correct one. Novel Ideas, Occidentalism, the West, then Orientalism was from the East School, post colonialism and Postmodernism, and Late Style. It is a term by Edward Said. He used for the aesthetic that develops when an artist knows they have made it career wise, that their reputation is secure and they can relax enough to permit themselves to experience. Question number 21 The autobiographical novel The Bride Wore the Traditional Gold. Which describes the early years of marriage of Gayatri C. Spivak is written by William Colleen, Avital Ronell, Jenny Sharp, or Talbot Shivak. So here, Spivak, sorry. Here, option D, that is Talbot Spivak, is the correct option. Spivak was briefly married to Talbot Spivak in 1960, who wrote the autobiographical novel The Bride Wore the Traditional Gold, which deals with the early years of this marriage. Which of the following statement is not correct about Harold Bloom? Option A. He coined the term School of Resentment. Flight to Lucifer is the only novel by Harold Bloom. Option C. Bloom drew a sharp distinction between two poets, two platform, strong misleading of their persecutors and weak poets. Here, option D is he was a British literary critic and that is correct one. Let's see the highlighters for this question. Answer Bloom's doctoral dissertation is Shelley's Myth Making. School of Resentment is a term coined by Bloom. Flight to Lucifer is the only novel by Harold Bloom. The Anxiety of Influence by Bloom drew upon the example of 17th and 18th century poets about their ability to match the achievements of their predecessors. He dedicated it to six different revisionary rations, ratio that is Kleinemann, Teresa, Kenosis and Ascesis. Bloom drew a sharp distinction between strong poets who perform strong misreading of their precursors and weak poets who simply repeat the ideas of their precursors as though following a kind of doctrine. Bloom described this process in terms of a sequel of revisionary ratio through which each strong poet passes into in the cor course of his career. In this book, he developed the idea of mislead, misreading. Bloom's fascination from fantasy novel A Voyage to Arcturum by David Lindsay led him to take a brief break from criticism in order to compose the sequel of Lindsay's novel as the only fiction book of Bloom entitled The Field of Lucifer, only novel by Bloom. In American Religion 1992, he surveyed the major varieties of Protestant and post-Protestant religious faith that originated 
in the United States. In 1994, Bloom published the Western Canon, a survey of the major literary work of Europe and American Americans since 14th century focusing on 26 works of considered sublime and representatives of their nation and of Western canon. In his 1998 survey, Shakespeare, The Invention of the Human, Bloom provides an analysis of each of Shakespeare's 38 plays, 24 of which are masterpieces. The two paragons of Bloom's theory are Sir, Sir John Falstaff of Henry IV and Hamlet, whom he sees as representing self-satisfaction and self-loathing re respectively. He consolidated his work on the Western canon with the publication of How to Read and Why, in the year 2000 and Gen Genius, a mosaic of 100 exemplary creative minds that was published in 2003. In 2003, he was published Hamlet Poem Unlimited, Living Labyrinth Centering on Shakespeare and Whitman was published in 2011 as Anatomy of Influence, Literature as a Way of Life. In Omens of Millennium, Bloom posits that America is obsessed with angel prophecies and other millennial omens and that Americans are ironically Gnostic without knowing it. Question number 23. Victorian age is also known as option A, regressive age, age of compromise, age of revival and age of supremacy. So here option B is correct that is the age of compromise. The Victorian era of British history was the period of Queen Victoria's reign from 1837 until her death in 2000 sorry 1901. During this era, British Empire was emerged as the world's most beautiful, na sorry, powerful nation. Okay, let's move to next question. Question number 24. Which of the following statement is not correct about Victorian age? Option A. Victorian compromise was coined by G.K. Chesterton. Option B. The age witnessed a clash between faith and reason. Option C. The term Victorian evokes the attitude of moral earnestness. The option D says the Queen Victoria holds the longest reign of British history. Option D is correct. That is the Queen Victoria holds the longest reign in British history. Let's see the highlighters. Her reign is of 63 years and 7 months, which holds the longest reign in British history. Now Elizabeth II is credited with long monarch since 1952. As Prince Albert died in 1961, Queen Victoria became widowed. Victoria, Victorian compromise was coined by G.K. Chesterton. Art for art's sake got currency in this period. The term agnosticism was first coined in 1869 by T.H. Huxley. Arnold is called the prophet of modern society. The age witnessed a clash between faith and reason. The term Victoria evokes the attitude of moral earnestness. After Victoria, after Queen Victoria descended the throne in 2001, Edward VII, her son, ascended the throne and the Edwardian period has started. Queen Victoria celebrated the golden jubilee of her reign on 20th 
eight, June 1887 and the Diamond Jubilee in, on 20th June 1897. Last question is question number 25. Which of the Tennyson's poem shows optimistic view where modern expectation where modern expectation where human race guided by reason and science would come together and build build a perfect sorry build a better world of everyone world for everyone option a in memoriam option b ideals of the king break 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 or timbuktu here option d that is timbuktu is the correct one Timbuktu was published in the year 1829. It was the poem by Tennyson's 19-year-old about a legendary city in Africa. For this work, he got Chancellor's Gold Medal at University of Cambridge. It was written after reworking his own poem, Armageddon. An optimistic poem shows modern expectation where human race guided by reason and science would come together and build a better place better world for everyone but he did not think this poem is worthy friends by this we have completed day 13's mcqs and if you wish to get this note from me do let me know my WhatsApp number is given in the video. Please do contact me. My name is Roshni Shah. I wish you all the best. And I wish that you follow my videos regularly in order to get through this examination. Thank you so much for being with me in this video.